Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode number eight of the Students of the Game podcast, the number one weekly podcast here at Loveland Valley College. Today, I am joined here by my good friend, Brant Emporium Barr. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great. It's a, it's a good day. Um, how are you? It is a good day, honestly. It, I've had a pretty long day, to be honest. I've been doing some work. Um, of course, I took all the notes for this show this morning, um, partially during classes, to be honest with you as well. <laughs> That's how I like to spend my classes. Like almost every single class I, I, I record, like I know I'm recording later that day. That's when I do it. I, I pay attention in class, but I always am like taking notes on my, on the matches and the uh, podcasts, like during class for some reason. I could sit in my room for like two hours and do it, right. but no. Honestly, class I get that. Cause like you can listen. And then also have that something to do with your hands. And... Yeah. And that's kind of like, that's yeah. a big thing for me. Like I actually today, like I was sitting there in capstone and I just like, I just started going like this, like mm -hmm. just drawing lines, lines with, yeah. my, with my pencil. But, but, I mean, if you're like, getting that, it's fine. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, that's, it's that's good enough. As, as long as you're passing, though, yeah. that's what matters. Yeah. All right. So first thing, playoffs are here, man. <laughs> This, this yeah, season, they've, man. They've come it, up fast. It, like, it's yeah. Like I, obviously I update the schedule. And it just feels like it, it's just all gone. Yeah. So I'm going to show the bracket uh, down here for NECC NACE you play this week. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, some extra uh, technology that we do have uh, production value for. Um, have you seen the bracket? I haven't. No. All right. Well, that's – I kind of figured, but I do want to show this to you. And uh, basically, I just want to get your thoughts on it, okay. on how it – or what you see it for – or see from it, I guess. Um, I sent it to Dave here. Okay. Yeah. So, all I know is that we're the number one seed in – Here. Uh, so that is the bracket. Bracket. Um, you guys okay. are the second overall seed. Oh, second. Okay. Um, but that's because you guys come from – Pool B versus oh. the, the B side. Yeah, the A side gets the first seed and gotcha. so on and so forth. But okay, that looks exciting. Yeah, so what are your thoughts just taking a first look at that um, bracket? I see Fanshawe Fuel as our first match, and I mean, I think that'll just be a good game. Definitely winnable. We can we can beat them. And then uh, who's Western here? Uh, Western, that's literally like the school name. It's oh, just called Western? like Western. Have we, is that the other... Oh, I guess everyone's. That's, that's from the, the other. Yeah, bracket. that's from A. Okay. Um, yeah. I forget what their record was. I think they were like, I think they had like two losses, one or two losses. Um, but yeah, uh, they they're they're an okay school. They're not bad. Okay. Uh, the only thing I really recognize, to be honest, is their logo because we played them in Cobb like once. Gotcha. Well, I mean, they're with Ohio State. I think either way, we can beat that team as well. I think. If we play our game, we'll make it to finals. I don't know about Toronto Miss. Uh, that's so it, it, they're technically under UFT. So if you see UFT, that's that that's that school. Okay. But it's the University of Toronto Mississauga. Mississauga, what a fun name! I, I know. I, I always see that. Now. I always love writing it, and then I remember like on my graphics, it's too many characters. Because oh. that's a you have to yeah. think Toronto and Mississauga, and then you, if you put University of like. You're just, that's the whole graphic. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't know how they do graphics. Like their whole name is like forever. It's like a whole mm -hmm. sentence. Yeah, I mean I don't know how they are. They, they might be scary, but who knows? I'm yeah. I'm confident though that we'll get to finals, and then I I I feel like we can beat them probably too. I that's mean that's that's me being optimistic. Okay. I mean we could just fumble the bag, have one off it, and be done. <laughs> yeah, and, and I find it interesting that your first match is Fanshawe. It feels like. Somehow, some way, every time with LVC Rainbow Six, it always, I mean always, comes back to Fanshawe Field. Yeah, it, it's like a, like just a running rival almost, of just, uh, it's like the metric of our growth, I feel. Because like at the, uh, last year, they felt super scary, and then as we build up the team, as we've gotten just better, more comfortable on our maps, it feels like they're, they're beatable, they're on our level, and we can... We can take them out. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's it's nice to have them as that that metric. Yeah, that's a, that's a good point. I never even thought of it that way. But yeah, you guys have played them pretty much every year. Yeah. So like, how, they're kind of like almost the bar in a way. Unintended. <laughs> they're kind of like almost the bar in a way. Um, but so I guess we'll go back a little bit on okay. it. Uh, what? are your thoughts on the season as a whole now that we're basically almost done? I mean, it went fast. Like the first two weeks were crazy. It felt like 
or first couple weeks yeah. we yeah. had tournaments we had two tournaments yeah, yeah. On so weekends you got the just, yeah. yeah that was exhausting to say the least but they were really fun and then now that that's been over it feels like we play like four games and now we're done yeah, yeah in, at least in playoffs so um yeah you'll have so you'll have this you have nace this week and then you have nace playoffs and nationals uh nationals will be done by like may 5th i think like the first weekend in may okay they so yeah you're not you're not, you're not gonna be playing in like july this yeah, time. yeah that was that was real awkward last year <laughs> it was i felt bad for so many like three or four of the teams in your bracket had to forfeit and i'm like it's the national tournament yeah, it's not like, i mean it's not the ideal Set circumstance up, but yeah. i mean we'll take the win i mean i i still feel like we deserve that win yeah I mean, yes we played we showed up i mean we went through great lengths to get jack here i mean you 3 0 in finals yeah, like with, that with a 45 yeah, yeah one, i forgot one map was a 45 because yeah, yeah. jack's computer kept crashing yeah, yeah jack's computer just didn't want to work just said okay we'll keep playing yeah yeah and then clawed it clawed it back so i mean that that'll always be a memory to me because yeah. that yeah. was just an amazing day so uh, what are you, so you guys? I didn't even write who you play because I I think it's uh, Carolina University. What are your thoughts going into the match for Nace this week? Um, because by this when this gets posted, by the way, you will not have played that match. It gets released on Wednesday, so okay. you'll have the match tomorrow as of the releasing of this episode. Well, to be honest, I'm not the thinker of the team. I don't I don't think about the matchups, but I mean. I feel like if we play our game, like with almost every game, we can, we're gonna win. Cause we have, honestly, just a cracked lineup. We have uh, Michael, who's insane. Uh, Jack and Andrew are awesome players, and then we got Dave. What's more yeah. to be said about Dave? I love Dave. Well, I know what is to be said about Dave. He's gonna hate me for saying this. <laughs> I whiffed. <laughs> I did. I hear that at least like 20 times a match Listen, yeah. and I, i'm like dude it's not this bad there's no way i mean uh we can we can make fun of dave but honestly he's a really he's a great yeah. player he's a great team captain to have i love him to death and i i just love playing clubhouse with him and him and me in a little little box just yeah, holding down get, the fort little, that's little that's square. so fun to me and i just love playing with him so I mean, to be fair, Dave, it's a it's a rough call. It's tough, a very tough call between Dave and Tyler, who our best captain is. I think they're pretty on par with each other. I don't know if Tyler's gonna walk in the room or where he's gone because I know he was down here. But it, they, they, I mean, they've both been incredible. Dave has been a great piece for our program. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he started yeah, he, the rainbow. He's the reason we're here. Yeah, exactly. He's the reason we're here today, to be honest. I mean, without um, him, I'd just be a bum going to school and going home and sitting sitting yeah. in a chair all day. Yeah. yeah. So, Well, let's talk school, actually. That sure. was my second thing I wanted sure. to put. What a good so, segue. That was a I'm great a transition. <laughs> so let's talk school. Uh, first off, what is uh, your major? I think I've asked, but I don't remember. I'm uh, so either. I'm a history major with a focus on secondary education. Okay. okay. So I want to be a high school teacher. Uh, with history obviously yeah. and that also gives me some some leeway to go in like psychology i think some criminal criminal justice classes and like economics oh you, oh, you can do criminal justice, justice with uh, pretty sure major. it's like a social studies certification oh yeah, yeah. but i also get yeah. the history major yeah yes which yeah so what has your experience been so far because you're a sophomore right now yeah so. it's hard it's hard to believe that honestly i know, I know. it goes really fast and everyone said that at the start of college like oh first year will be long but then i'll just speed up and speed up and that's honestly true but it's been a fun ride like uh this year especially it feels much more natural much more comfortable i've started being in classrooms which is Crazy. Wait, really? I'm, yeah, like I go every Monday. I was wow. there today, actually. I, I didn't. I didn't know you were already starting I, that. Yeah, I straight up taught a review and then wrote some notes for them tomorrow. Already? already? Uh huh. They, wow. I didn't know it yeah, started that. That's early something LVC you. does really well on. They get you in the classroom immediately. So, uh, what high or middle school? Oh, you said middle. It's school. high school. Oh, high school. Well, I, high school. Both, but I'm at Northern Lebanon, so it's oh, that's oh, where okay. I went to yeah. in yeah. high school. So. I know I, it's my history teacher I'm teaching with, which is oh, really fun. Oh, that's crazy. That is really cool, actually. Yeah. Like, you get, you basically get to go back to where you, yeah. where you work. Yeah, and my mom's there, too. She teaches there. So oh, I, I just go in, chat with her, go, yeah, yeah. go do my observation, come back, chat with her, leave. That's, like, that's incredible. I didn't yeah. know all that. It's really that's, fun. So 
I, I was going to ask what careers could you look for, but I mean, you kind of covered it, but if, you, if there are any more you want to I mean, say, yeah, teaching free. is the goal right now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you need to teach, I believe, three years once you get your teaching certificate to keep it. Yeah. yeah. So I'll most definitely do that. But then after that, I don't really know. I, I would consider going into like public service, running for some sort of position in office, whether that be local or state. I don't think uh, federal is level quite, is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe you could. You could. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely definitely an option, and I'd love to pursue that further. That's really interesting. the The government position thing is really what is getting me there. That that one, I mean, that's you have more qualifications than other government officials I've, <laughs> I've worked with not worked with but i've seen and uh, interacted with i will give you that you already have the probably more experience than they will ever have in my opinion but of course that's a topic for a different day so let's talk about how you even got here because we talked about dave a little bit that's but story <laughs> yeah you know i i wrote life story as uh as one of the sections of this part so Let's 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 yeah. get into that. Well, I got a mouthful on this. So it all started. Uh, how far back should we go? As far, so far back as you want. I started playing Rainbow Six Siege the first year it released on my PlayStation 4. 2016, right? Or is it 15? 15. 15. Well, probably in 16 I started because okay. I didn't play on release, which I wanted to. I yeah. asked my mom. I remember this really? vividly because Star Wars Battlefront came out that same year. The oh, remaster by EA. Yeah, and I got a yeah. PlayStation just for that game for my birthday. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, mom, can I get this game? It's it's kind of like Call of Duty. She's like, eh, I don't know. That looks violent. <laughs> and then about, about four months later, I got the game. After I was just like, hey, can I get this? She's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I just didn't elaborate more that time. Yeah. But that continued. I played with friends. And I always loved the game, but I didn't play seriously. And then a few years later year four it was operation burnt horizon that i started playing on pc and i at that point i was just playing on my kitchen table your, your kitchen, <laughs> kitchen table. table or dining room table sorry i just had the tower on one on one side and then it was a a terrible rinky dink keyboard and mouse i was using no. with no mouse pad on a wooden table do you have any pictures of that setup probably i don't know that's it, a, that's if wild. i do i'll send it to you and you can put it yeah. down yeah. here yeah but I started playing, actually, no, back up a little bit. I started working for my cousin, Jesse, which this sounds tangential, but it'll come back around. And I started working with my other cousins, <laughs> Kyle and Seth, who I grew up with, but we didn't really play much video games yeah. together once we got older. But once I started working for them, or working for my cousin, Jesse, I talked to them and was like, oh, I play Rainbow Six Siege. And they're like, no way, I just got that game. I was like, oh, we should play that. And we started playing. And then friend groups kind of merged. I met uh, Grotty. And then through Grotty, I met Dave. Wait, that's how you met Grotty? Yeah. You met I Grotty so. before. I think so. It's. I think so. To be honest, to be honest you, you could have met them at the same right. time. Right. It, it, it could have been the same. Because Kai was just like, oh, I have some friends. Do you want to play with them? I was like, sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Why not? And I probably went like 0 and 6 in the game, but they liked me, so they kept me around. And then I met Dave, <laughs> yeah. and Dave was like, oh, yeah, I play Siege at LVC, yada, yada, yada. It's like, oh, that's really cool. I'm going to LVC. And then he was like, no way. You should play. So this was like high school. Like this was high senior? school. Yeah. Junior, senior year. -ish. Okay. And then. The summer came around and I was talking to Kyle and he was like, yeah, I might, I might try to coach there. So he started coaching and then I came in, uh, met Michael, met Dave, met Jack, met uh, uh, everyone else on the team. Joey was probably jo still on the Joey, team. Joey, I knew right? him before we went to high school together. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he went to Northern Lebanon. I, I knew he was from the area. Mm -hmm. I, just, I didn't know where he went. But, but yeah. He went to Palmyra. And then I came here and i've loved it ever since so and the, you honestly explained exactly what i was looking for i was gonna i had a bunch of little yeah, points i mean there's a sure, lot a lot left out there probably but that's the gist of it that's that's a good story though i mean it, it's one of the very few full circle stories we have right mm -hmm. because most of our players they meet through like 
just that interest in esports, and then they meet everyone on the team. Yeah. And you kind of had the opposite. I did. I kind of got connected in. I was like, well, I already played this game pretty well. Like, I there was a summer where I just grinded. I was like, I want to get better. Or yeah. at that time, I was like, I just want to be in platinum, like in rank wise. And now it's just like, oh yeah, that's easy. It's, but, it's simple, you know, light work. But I was doing aim trainers every morning. I would wake up and start doing that. That was your day. And then like, I would just do, morning. yeah, I would just do T hunts and then play games. And I kind of got good. And then, I mean, I've obviously gotten a lot better since being here and actually yeah. playing yeah. with good people. Like my, Michael's taught me so much about the game. I would not have been Ish. where I am without him. So. Um, to backtrack it yeah. a little bit, um, do you only so you mentioned you played you you were getting Star Wars Battlefield, yeah. but do you follow any other titles? Did you were you were just like mainly playing R six? Was there anything else there? So the reason I got a PC actually was to play this two thousand five game called Star Wars Empire at War. So I have a. I've never heard of that. It's game. kind of obscure, honestly. It <laughs> There's a huge obscure. modding community, but I, I mainly got into PC gaming because of strategy games. I love uh, 4Xs and grand strategy games mm -hmm. like Stellaris and Hoi 4. Um, and then that's always kind of been my love. I I, I just kind of played FPSs on the side, yeah, but then yeah. once Siege started happening, I got a, a group. I got I've shifted away more from that into mainly fps's but i still play them and they're i've all i've always loved them so still a big like strategy yeah kind yeah of guy. okay yeah um so i kind of i guess lvc in the picture i have that you guys kind of talked about that as well so when you were looking at lvc were there other choices you had or other options, options you had nope <laughs> i mean I, 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 exactly like me yeah i honestly i applied to this school yeah. Late, I think. <laughs> oh, even even better. Because I was like, I I don't like I don't want to live with someone in a dorm, honestly. And I yeah. live close enough where I'm like I can drive here every day. Yeah. yeah. So, and I've I've been around LVC all my life. Like I've gone to soccer camps here. I've I have family that literally teaches here. Yeah. yeah. So I've always been familiar with it and comfortable around here. And I thought it was just the perfect fit. And they had a good history department they've they talked me into it once they, i got here they they sucked you in <laughs> i was like i like these people and i mean i still like them yeah i mean especially for you because you're so local like it's diff like it's so different compared to like everything else where like all of our players have essentially like the most minimal amount of like oh they might know a player or they might have a friend that goes mm -hmm. here but for you it's like yeah. Most of your family was here. You were here. I know before. a lot of people like, here that I went to high school with, too. I was just yeah. like, yep, I know them. Oh, yep, I know them, too. So you said you played soccer? In, or you I, went to I, soccer camps here? Yeah. I, you, I would assume you played in high school then. A little bit. So the coach, the soccer coach here's name is Charlie Grimes, yep. right? Yep. Uh, I grew up with his son, Simon. Oh. And so okay. I was always over at his house yeah. playing yeah. soccer. So I... I've always kind of just followed the soccer team. I've watched games here a lot. And then he had a soccer camp, and I would always go to that every year. And then I played in high school, and he would help out. But I yeah. also played a few other sports as well. What else did you? Honestly, I've played a lot of them. I've I played baseball, soccer, basketball, golf, and volleyball. Oh, yeah. you've done everything. I've, I've done, done it all. I wanted to play tennis, but there wasn't time for that. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. with everything else, I I, I could imagine. Yeah, I mean. and that I think that growing up with sports made esports a lot easier. Like, did it make it like more? I, I don't want to say it this way, but did it make it like more enticing to to treat it that way? A little bit, because I wanted to do something in college, yeah. and yeah. I was actually gonna do swimming, but. I decided not to do that and just do esports because I wanted something competitive. I'm not a competitive person, but yeah, I, I yeah. like the team aspect, and I just needed something to fill it, and I got this. And a funny thing too is that like I never really understood practicing in sports until I started playing video games and wanted to get better. And I was like, oh, it just finally clicked. Like this is how this I is get why. good. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Which I remember telling my mom that, and she's like, "Oh, so now you'll actually try a practice?" Because she was always my coach. So yeah. So now, now you'll actually try to like do better. Mm -hmm. 
So let's talk a bit about the the esports program here. So you you talked a little bit about getting to know Dave. How did so is that the way you found out about like us specifically in our program? Yeah, I I've never heard anything about esports before hearing about LVC's program. I knew interesting introduction to esports, honestly. Yeah, Dave Dave sold me, I guess. Yeah, but yeah. I don't think I've ever heard anything about it other than here because i i went for a tour here and i asked if i could see the room yeah and they were like wait we have that they didn't even know about it yeah actually uh interesting story so one well not story but one of our smash our smash captain john he is a um valley ambassador which for for those of you that don't know what valley ambassadors are it's just like the tour guides we have here that like you walk around, they, they show you the campus and stuff like that. When you're a high school student looking to get into a college, um, every school has them. Ours are called Valley Ambassadors. Um, they're called other things at different schools. And he is like a big part of the reason he got hired was because he is in esports. Like, because we don't have anyone there. He's our only person. Like, and most of the other Valley Ambassadors still don't know we're a program. Like, there'd be te one of my friends um, who was a Valley Ambassador before she graduated. She would text me random points in the day. And she'd be like, hey, uh, are you in the esports room? Uh, I have a group of, 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 pl of people here that want to, like, see the room. And I, I'd be like, I'd be in, like, my dorm all the way across campus. I'll be the there. Side. And I I'm like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, yeah, just g give me like five minutes. Just stall for like five minutes. I will be there and I can explain everything to yeah. them. Like, and that it, it's crazy that like most of them still don't even know. Mm -hmm. like, they come down the Are they like, no, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, no clue. I mean, maybe if they tried. This, this is, is a, obscure. an obscure location yeah. too. I'll give it that. Like we have one window and it's not even in this room. It's in the other room. I didn't and like the window it. is always covered. Like the, the blinds are always down and it's also like ground level. So like you just yeah. see dirt. I, I also have never known there's a window in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's actually, if you, I don't know. Oh, if you I actually see do it see your it. Angle. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's right there. But you, you also would not know that you're never in that room. You don't need to be either. So what was the first iteration of the team you were on? Uh, first here? iteration. Um, that was what? You, Dave, was Michael, Michael um, Joey, yeah, Joey, and Jack, and Jack right? Yeah. And then Jake was yourself, the uh, liquefy Jake. Yes, yes, yeah. So, I mean, that was, that was a fun team, I think. I liked everyone there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think there was a, a bit of a disparity when it came to how serious we wanted to be about it. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, I wasn't a part of it, but I think there, there was some tensions of just, like, being together in classes and just outside of yeah. the game. So, I mean, it switched eventually. But I, I like that team. That was a good first introduction. Uh, I'll always remember them as my first team. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I was more concentrated on me, on me. I was so stressed out that first semester. I thought. I mean, coming in as a freshman, yeah. Yeah, I just every hard. game I dreaded because I was like, I need to, I need to go positive, yeah. and then yeah. I would beat myself up if I didn't. But that's gone away now. I, I, I just, I I'm so. just like, well, I'm playing today. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably doing. Okay. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so let's talk a bit about improvement. Um, so talk about how it's been compared to when you joined and to what what you are now uh both person as a player all, all like how how has it changed over the okay. year um hmm. i'll start with the game first gameplay wise this game's very unique in that it almost resembles what i've heard about league of legends which i've heard i think it matches pretty good is the game is just a skill check basically yeah. or a yeah. knowledge check and I love Siege because it's a mechanics and knowledge check every round. And that's my knowledge has been what's been improved tenfold easily. I mean, Dave and Michael are such have such a wealth of knowledge about the game that I just have never gotten. Yeah. And it, it's, it's just insane. it's completely changed how I look at the game and how I approach every round. It's like, all right, where's pressure? I like I, they taught me what phantom pressure was mm -hmm. of just like open this window, then they won't sit here because they're scared. It's like, oh, that's so smart. I should have thought like, about that. It's psychology. Like, it seems intuitive, but you just never would think that. Yeah. yeah. Um, personally, I mean, this has helped me stay in sports, which is good. Like I now coach um, a middle school volleyball team. Really? And I don't think I would have done that without 
being on this team and just seeing Michael, seeing Dave manage the team, do practices. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I, I, I kind of model my volleyball practice around what they do <laughs> in eSports, really? which is kind of crazy. That, that, that is crazy to hear. But I see Michael's like, all right, we're going to do kind of a breakdown of this map. It's like, okay, well, I need to break down the mechanics. And then we do practice. It's like, oh, they need to do 2v2s to or whatever and put yeah. it all together. Like we do dry runs and scrims. And I was like, it makes sense. It's like that one uh, gif of like the yes. exploding mind yes. like out there. Yes. And it's just epiphany after epiphany. It just feels so good to like, I get it now. I get it. And that knowledge just keeps building and mm -hmm. building yes. every, like every week you're here, you're learning something new. You take it out. And yeah, that that's what it's all about. Honestly, like that's incredible to hear. Honestly, I don't really care about winning or losing much. I just, I like that process. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fun part for me in any sport. So it's just been awesome to be a part of. I mean, winning's nice too. Yeah, yeah it's always nice. So, uh, this this is gonna sound so corny when I the way I have it worded, okay. but for to me at least, I've been around mm -hmm. hundreds of players at this point in all sorts of titles, not even just in collegiate, but as in esports as a whole. You are genuinely one of the cheeriest, most <laughs> upbeat, just in nicest kids I've ever been around in in esports as a whole. Esports has a lot of not not ideal people, right? Yeah, but, I, I've seen that side of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I, and maybe this is a really hard question to answer, but what what has brought you to to kind of have that sort of personality? If that's even I'd an say, answerable question, I'd say you should thank my mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, my mom's pretty much the exact same as me. Like super really? bubbly, really? smiley, always positive. I mean, she's shaped how I've I see the world and I mean she's coached all my sports too, which helps. Yeah, yeah, I'd imagine that that's pretty helpful. I don't know. I just I like people. I like to I think everyone's interesting and I want to I want them to be happy cuz when they're happy they tell stories and I like <laughs> to hear stories and they like I just like to I just like it. That's the answer I expected to hear, and that's the one I wanted to hear, to be honest. But thank with you. you. That that means a lot to me. But it, it yeah, it, and I see it every every day. Well, not every day because I'm not near you every day. Every day you're around, I see it all the time, and like, it, it's incredible because honestly, I used to be not that I'm not anymore, but I used to be that way when I was in high school, dude. I was always like that. It it it, it was insane, like. I mean, at this point, I've gone a bit AWOL, but, but uh, <laughs> I, I definitely used to have a very similar personality, and I see that in you. I, I think and, you're a jolly person as well. <laughs> I, I love being around it. you. You always bring a bring a nice energy to the room. <laughs> I appreciate it, but it it genuinely is like it, it's amazing to see because again, I was like that in high school, and like yeah. I don't see that a lot anymore. Like. I, t I always talk about how much I hate Philly specifically. <laughs> Dude, Dude, the people there are, it's depressing. I man. love the excuse to trash on Philly. I'm it, all it is. It. It's a bit of an excuse, <laughs> but like the people there, man, it, it's just so depressing. Like they all just like don't care about anyone. They want to just stare at their phone, go do their own thing, which is fine. But like, hell, I was coming back from the train station. A little bit of a side story here while, we, while we're on it. Uh, I went to go to Shake Shack right right down the street from the train station. It's on the Drexel campus. Beautiful, beautiful, nice little walk. I walk up to this window, and there's a girl that's walking up at the same time. I let her go in front of me, whatever, and then I stand behind her. This guy from DoorDash, he has like a DoorDash order that he's picking up. He walks in front of both of us, shoves his phone in the employee's face, basically. Like, it was literally like right here, and he just doesn't say a word. She hands the girl in her order. She hands me my order, then shuts the window on the guy and walks let, and just lets it be like that. I think I, I love that. Yeah, I, I think that just brings a great point of like positivity brings out the best in others. And like you're going to get more from people if you're nice. There's no point to be mean or nasty towards people. And I think we see that in esports too. Having yeah. it's, it's like playing support in life. You just by being happy and making people feel good, you bring out the best in them, whether that be gameplay or just emotionally. That's that's a great way to, great way to put it. I'll give you that. It is a, it is an incredible way to put it. So, kind of building off of that, what motivates you to be that way? Not not necessarily just to be like that, but 
What, what mo what's your big motivator for that sort of thing? That's a great question. I don't know. I, it just feels wrong to be distant and mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I know I have the ability to, and I feel like therefore I should be nice and kind. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's almost like Spider-Man, great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Like, you have the ability to, is your responsibility to be a good person in this world. And everyone, and everyone does. Yeah. It, 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 there is absolutely no yeah. reason and just to, like, to be... just like, if you're a Debbie Downer, like, what are you doing? You're not yeah, having fun point? in life. You're, <laughs> other people aren't having fun around you in life. Yeah. Yeah. So you're just making the world worse. Yeah. 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 So how does that carry to in-game then? Um, I think it's just, it's the little things. Like... After every round, saying saying good job, fist bumping each other, making sure everyone's have a level a level head. Um, I think Jack's a great example. He, like, if I'm having a bad game, mm -hmm. he'll always just be like, "It's okay, man." He'll put he'll put his <laughs> hand on mine and just be like, "It's okay. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it." And that always brightens my spirit. I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go frag some guys." And Jack is the quiet one. Yeah, he doesn't talk a lot. But I I love Jack. He's just he's oh, always man. been like a big brother to me in in college like i had a few classes with him and just mm -hmm. i've known him since i got here yeah so i like him always, always good, good to have, to have one of those mm -hmm. everyone needs one. exactly so what's the future looking like this is uh out know. of <laughs> all of the rest of our really good conversation it was that was really fun but what is the future looking like for you as a player for you as a person that sort of thing i mean two more years here i'm looking forward to it uh <laughs> As long as we find someone else to fill the fill the Spots. last spot, I know we got Nolan. He's sitting behind the camera. We got him next year. I'm excited for that. Uh, we need one more. But after college, like I said, teach a little bit at least, and then if I like that, keep going. Uh, get my masters through that. I didn't mention that. I get my masters for free if I teach and do classes oh, at the same time. Yeah. So, would you come back here for that then? I don't know. I don't really know how that process works, to be honest. And that's I like, mean, I'm still figuring it out. Yeah, I'm actively probably working through that yeah, in a couple months here. That, so. That's a future brand problem. That's a, <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good, that's a good point. point. Yeah, after that, I mean, I'd love to start an eSports program or help with the eSports program wherever I teach. I think that would be super cool. At high schools, it is needed. Yeah. It, it's it's like, very uh, tough yeah. to get it and going in high school. I think that would be a great thing to have interview wise to like yeah i've i've been in the esports community yeah. and world i can i can get us there like yeah. yeah and be the basically dave of the school yeah well speaking of that yeah. make sure you talk to that dave not not the one not my roommate dave the, yeah. the other dave shapiro make sure you go talk to him he has every resource under the sun i've actually met some of the guys that have started the program over i think it's cedar crest okay yes. and also at um there's another local high school that has esports that palmyra I, 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 I don't know if it was palmyra it was one of those schools that one of the somewhat local schools um they came in one day and they were just asking about how dave runs our our program here and uh definitely make sure at least when you're getting closer to graduating looking into that yeah. sort of thing just talk with him he is obviously always willing and he is an incredible director. Sometimes uh, I know Tyler and I both give him shit sometimes uh, for for things, but incredible director and always will be. Mm -hmm. As uh, you, you, it doesn't get much better than, than Mr. Dave Shapiro. And that's good. Yeah, I mean that sounds like our job, honestly, to it make, is. To make it everyone is. happy and yeah. yeah, and then deal with people above him and all that. Yeah, sort of and stuff, make people you know. understand what the program even yeah, is. That, that, yeah, that makes it even like, harder to do. I think that's the hardest job. Just communicating like, yeah, we need money for a new computer. It's like you have computers, like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those don't even have graphics cards in them. <laughs> it's yeah, like, what's a graphics card? Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, but, so yeah. yeah. Do you have uh, anyone, anything, I guess, that you'd like to shout out? Tyler, please don't throw that chair at me because I, <laughs> I, I already deal with Dave enough. Um, um, so do you have anyone you'd like to shout out um, before you want to, or before we close out? Yeah. Here? I mean, I want to thank my family my mom my dad my sisters my brother like they've all helped me in my sports life and i believe that's gotten me here um i i want to thank dave and everyone on the team uh currently and previously they've all been wonderful people i want to thank you you're awesome thank you and just this has been just an amazing 
amazing program to be a part of and I, i'll never forget it, it this was this is like made my college experience i think that's what i love to hear and that's 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 what i hope for everyone that comes through this program yeah. uh at least while i'm still here uh, i got a few more months then i skedaddle on out myself but that's sad <laughs> it really it, it is. is it is um but of course there's there's a time and a place for everything so uh i'll definitely be talking about that more uh as time goes on, I mean, we got what May I think like May eleventh is graduation, something like that. I, wow. it's, 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 That's yeah, scary it's for you. I'm scared for you. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's <laughs> definitely a lot to go into it. But of course, again, I'll, I'll be I'll be addressing certain certain things like that um, in a couple months here. But that is going to do it for us today. Thank you for coming on, Brandon. This is a me. really fun one to record. Yeah. I, I'm as soon as you message me about this, I'm like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, i've been waiting honestly for myself as well like i've i love every single person i've had on i've i've been waiting to get everyone on for a show like last year same thing i was just dying to get everyone on they've been awesome too i've watched most of them yeah, yeah. And it is I so just, fun. it's it's nice to hear like i don't get to hear a lot about people's personal lives yeah, yeah. and just like oh where'd you come from like you'd think that you hear that but you just, yeah. it just you just skip over it like. yeah and we're, we're, even at a small school like ours sometimes it just that doesn't happen like you basically are never around the rocket league players the rocket league players are basically never around you yeah. guys and that's not a fault of anyone trying to just not no, be around it's all each the rocket other. league players yeah. 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 yeah yeah but it's it's not anyone's fault it's just that's how that's the nature of, e of our program so uh, and it's it's, always, it's been great getting to hear your guys' stories too because like i'm pretty much one of the only people here that interacts with everyone like no, no one you're probably the only other one that does so getting that experience has been really really fun for me and it's been really great for, for you guys, I'd imagine, as well. But that will do it for us today. Uh, go follow us on Twitter and Instagram at LVC underscore esports on both those platforms. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Go down below and hit subscribe. Oh, Stay one tuned more thing, for one more thing. Whoa. If you somehow see this and play Siege and want to play next year, come to us. We need we need another one. <laughs> that is a really good comm. Those are, that's incredible that. comms right there. Please. And if you're that guy I yelled through a window about playing, I'm sorry. Don't worry about that one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go, go, go! Subscribe to us down below. Um, really means a lot to us. Uh, we post content every week, uh, these weekly shows, um, and also our vods go live at the end of every season or at the end of every semester. Um, also, go subscribe to or not subscribe. Go follow us on Twitch. Turn those notifications on. Twitch.tv slash Ludlam Valley College. Uh, go follow over there turn the notifications on to see when we go live what are two team or what teams are playing and who they're playing um of course very always nice to grow the program a little bit especially as at a small of a school as we are in thank you guys again for watching it means the world to not only me but our players i'd imagine too um growing this program is a, is not the easiest job in the world so uh definitely means a lot to all of us thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys here next week when we bring on John Woodchuckman Wood of LVC Smash. We'll see you guys on the other side. Peace.